everyone, assalamu alaikum, Zuri here again before you and today I'm here with a very cool topic. So as this is a very cool topic, you have to be more attentive in this class. And yes, I have my favorite partner, that means my whiteboard with me today. So, many of you may be asking me what's our today's topic, why I'm, ain't I telling that? But let you guess. Okay, I'm giving you a few hints. Many people ask me that, Zareen, how can we improve our presentation skills? Because we want to be great presenters in future. Can you please tell us? And also those newcomers into Soul Kids who are very new into Soul, they also ask me that what did Sir teach you in the very beginning? We missed the main session, that means the presentation session. So I hope you guys understood what's our today's topic. Yes! Presenting something in English. We are going to today learn how to improve our presentation skills and how to be great presenters. But before that, you have to take care of a few steps. These are do's and don't do's. These are the steps which you should follow and don't follow. This is the role of following and this is the role of not following. I'm going to explain each and every topic sincerely and slowly so that it will be easy for you to understand. And so, let's not make any delay and start. So we are going to start with do's. The first step in do's is use simple language. So many people say that we have to use complex languages in presentations to make it beautiful. But if you use simple language, then your presentation will be much more better. Now second step, speak slowly. Let me give you an example of a bad presentation. Hello everyone, and welcome. This is Aaron Tester. I'm a 7th grader in Consumer School and College. This is a bad presentation because there is not a maintenance of the speaking. We were speaking so fast. So we have to speak slowly to make the presentation beautiful. Next, edit visuals. This editing does not mean that you are editing something on your phone or any device. This means that how your appearance is on the stage. Like you should not wear informal clothes. You should not take so many things at a time and you should not look back. If you look back, then the audience will be not able to see who you are. And if you are presenting a paragraph from the projector, you should not read it. You should express it on your own words. Next, use more verbs. What does using more verbs mean? Many people use nouns again and again, so it makes the presentation more annoying. So if you use more verbs, then the presentation would be better than before. Then, we use active verbs. So if you are using more verbs, then what kind of verbs should you use? You should definitely use active verbs and I'm going to tell about active verbs inshallah in any of my new presentations. Now, we have to work with a trainer. So what does working with a trainer mean? Like when I start my presentations, I always ask my mother that what should I choose as a topic or what should I do in case of starting a presentation. So you can work with a trainer if you have any problems while choosing the topic. Now, let's move on to the points that we should not do in presentations. First one, don't use abbreviations. Many people use abbreviations like they call Bangladesh BD, United States of America, USA, United Kingdom as UK. So you have to skip using abbreviations for a while. Now, avoid slang. If you are saying the demerits of something or if you are saying the bad qualities of something, you should not use a slang. But you can say that that is wrong or that is bad. Just that, okay? Don't use slangs. Next one, avoid crutch words. There is a forbidden um, like um, 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 this is, and the next thing is I think, and you start thinking. These two are clutch words. You should not use them while doing presentations. And there are a few major topics that you should do while doing presentations. I have listed them separately, and I'm now going to explain those. Overcome fear. If you do not overcome your fear, you will never be able to express yourself in front of the audience because you have to overcome your fear. Many people shake on stages because of their fear. So you have to overcome your fear. Then use body language. As I'm using my hand and my stick, you can also use your other body parts like you can dance while you present or you can walk around the stage while you present or you can sing. So you have to use body language. Then structure your presentation. This structuring your presentation means you should not say anything that is not related to your presentation. Like you are talking about global warming, but you are saying about women empowerment. So this is completely wrong. Then handle question answer session. Your audiences may ask you that what is that or what is this? So you have to arrange a question answer session for them. And print presentation templates. If you want, you can print presentation <coughs> templates so that it will be easy for you to make the presentation. So thank you everyone for watching my video. Inshallah, I'll come up with another interesting video next time. Till then, keep your eyes on my videos. Ta-ta for today. 
আপনার সন্তান আপনার কাছে একটি স্বপ্ন একটি প্রজন্ম একটি বাংলাদেশ হ্যাঁ দেশ গড়ার প্রত্যয় প্রতিষ্ঠিত হয়েছে বস বাংলাদেশ অনলাইন স্কুল উই শেপ ফিউচার ফর অ্যাডমিশন প্লিজ কল অর এসএমএস টু 01620004200